How are you doing? Hi, are you in Dutch? What? You Dutch? No, we're a German. German. That's okay. Welcome. Yeah, we love German. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. Where, where have you been? Welcome to uh, we our little island. From, uh, Chepstow. 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 Yeah. 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 Chepstow. Nice, Chepstow. nice walking. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, good uh, weather. Yeah. Fine. It is. <laughs> so we got our campsite, and it's just somewhere really to tuck in. Nice bit of flat ground. A lot of grass, but we can flatten it down. There's a place to cook up there though. This is just to sleep really. So we can pitch a tent and a tarp here somewhere. Flatten some ground out. It's only a place to sleep. Up there is where we can cook. It's an abandoned cottage. It's all tinned up. Lots of padlocks on every single window. Looks as though it's kind of been out of use for a long time. So yeah, this is this is where we're going to stop, and then carry on the walk tomorrow morning down the Y Valley towards Chepstow. But this is where we are. Beautiful spot. Make something out of this, eh? the tension in the middle there somewhere it's good to create a good system of runoff so that's what I'll do is I'll lessen the tension there somewhere just slightly just to raise that middle a bit okay let's have a look
Yeah, that's good. That's a bit better. Oh, I'm happy with that. tentative steps in the morning. I say tentative, not really. <clears throat> Good start to the morning. Paul just said to me that this squatters community in the Hudnalls in the Wye Valley is like the Welsh Machu Picchu. I mean some of these rocks that these squatters were laying to form this community hub are oh, very large indeed. It's an amazing little place. It's got such atmosphere. I recommend it to anyone. So we're going to continue our walk now. And we're heading towards um, Tinton on the opposite side of the bank and Chepstow. So, I'm going to continue on towards the river and through this delightful place called the Hudnalls. It's amazing. Here, look, more stones. More stones. It's all through here.
great old tree, wonderful. Come on, let's go. Yep. I'm coming, mate. Okay. The Hudnalls is one of the most diverse woodlands in the Wye Valley. Much of the site is covered with relict small leaved lime and beech coppice. Elsewhere, Cecil Oak is the most frequent species. The ground flora is equally varied. Acid loving species such as bilberry are found beneath the oak stands, while elsewhere bluebell and yellow archangel can be found. A tumble down network of stone walls and the occasional ruins of old cottages survive beneath the trees. This is just what I was talking about actually. They were built by squatters who gradually moved into the area in the late 18th to early 19th centuries. Ah, so there was a whole series of dwellings throughout the valley here. The Hudnalls is actually a wooded common and local people have used the Hudnalls for centuries to provide timber, fuel and raising stock. Well taken, Paul. Okay. Well taken. Yeah, what do you mean? Well saved? <laughs> yeah, if you like. I just had to stop and um, point something out on the trail. Here's the trail along here. And that there is Offa's Dyke. A mound which was built by King Offa, who was a Mercia king, Anglo Saxon, at around about 750 AD so that's some time ago and as you walk the trail you can actually see the rubble which is now exposed but some kind of engineering project for say 13 1400 years ago so yeah we're walking a part of the office dyke trail and we're off to the devil's pulpit which is a viewing point so I'll see you there 
Look at that. You can see all the rubble that formed some of the material for um, the dike. So yeah, a lot of rock and earth shifted for this uh, Mercia project, which runs parallel to the River Y from, say, Monmouth. Pretty cool. Beautiful view of Tintin Abbey. Can I ask your name? Catherine. Catherine, Mark. Mark. Catherine from Vancouver. Oh, and that's yep. Paul. All right, good to meet yeah, you, Catherine. Air Forty, Air Forty, we are a lot. <laughs> That's what, from the Shires. We are actually. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> good on you. Okay. Welsh and Scottish. Oh, good on you. But I live in Canada. Hey, take care and have a good walk. Now then, I'm not sure whether you can hear me or not, but that is the mighty River Severn in front with the new Severn crossing. There are two crossings. There's another one further on up the river, which is a single span bridge. <clears throat> but this is the new one we're looking at here. I think that's Chepstow. Um, in the foreground. Yeah, pretty certain it's Chepstow. And the Y is below us on the right there. And it flows into the Severn and ultimately into the Irish Sea, which is further to our right. It's a large body of water. Bristol has made its uh, reputation off the Severn, and so has Gloucester. So yeah, what a great piece of a uh, bit of water that is. A <laughs> piece of water, a great bit of water huge flowing mass of water, fluid. Wonderful. coming to Piercefield Park and why Piercefield House was really quite grand once look at that some fantastic events happen in this park Events that are promoted by Chepstow Racecourse, Summer Sunrise Festival, the Green Gathering, all manner of 
of uh, fantastic events take place here on the banks of the River Wye. It's brilliant. It's beautiful. We've had a great walk to get here.